success. Yes. Shit in the trenches. When they say in the ends, but they talking about this, some best thing for greatness. I gotta keep on shot. Said this shit once, but they ain't get the message. Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. This shit ain't get hacked, this shit ain't get trapped. when they say your minds, but they talking rapidly. That's it for greatness, I gotta keep on trapping. I said this shit once, but they ain't get the message. At least some time. Yeah. Baby, everywhere. Tomorrow. You don't even got nothing that's dropping, so I can't even tell them, like, coming up next week type shit. <laughs> it's like, no, but, um, take three. Welcome back to the podcast. Usually I had a theme music plan, and I'd be, and I'd be bumping and all that, but I got a special guest with me. It's one of my A1 day ones. The dog, the dawn, m and Flashy. Say what's up, introduce yourself. Who it is, m Who? underscore Flashy. Yep. You can follow me on IG. Yeah. yeah, a couple gunshots, cause it's gonna be. I'm, we we sending some shots today. We don't know. Yeah. At, I don't know at who yet, but I I'm, I gotta send some shots just cause <laughs> I got the sound effect. But um, yeah. So we back at another podcast. I just wanted to. I just wanted to try. I just wanted to have a good conversation with my man, just to see where his mind was at, just see what he thinking about, to see you know, just all that, just see what he been up to. So uh, we're gonna start it off with a toast. A toast. A toast. For all, the, for all the ones that didn't make it here, for all the ones that's looking down on us, checking on us, for the dogs. This thing is stupid. <laughs> Ooh. Kids, I'm going to tell you now, anything is possible. 1765. <laughs> so, um, tell me, um, let's start off, let's just keep it simple. Let's start it off. How was your week? How was the month? How, how, how no matter of fact, yeah, how was the week for you? Shit, the week was good. I had a, had a little meeting today earlier. Been in the studio, it's past week. Been doing promotion on my music, so it's been all right. Now I'm here today. Talk to me. So yeah. What you been, what you promoting, nigga? I've been promoting, I got my wave out on YouTube. YouTube be been- flashy, my wave. And I got hectic dropping tomorrow everywhere. Apple Music, iTunes, all that. I ain't gonna lie, I was bumping hectic on the way here. That, 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 it, it, it. I bitch hard, I ain't gonna cap. It's it's the shaking get hot, you know what I mean? That was the best we was bumming before. <laughs> that's what we was bumming before. But um so let's let's keep it simple. Let's keep it started. Where where did you born and raised? Where you born and raised from? I'm born and raised in Baltimore. West Baltimore, but people know me from all over. Owens Mills, Randall's Town, Emerson, Fremont, South Baltimore. So you, East, so you basically uh, like you basically like known like everywhere. Like you basically stamped. I done, I done moved everywhere. So um, yeah. tell us about your upbringing. Like how was everything for you? Did everything treat you nice growing up? Um, I'm not gonna say I had it too rough growing up. My mom, had mom, and my dad. But uh, you know, you had times when it was hard. You know, pay the bills, shit like that. Everybody got their times, but for the most part, my people did what they were supposed to do. They did what they could do. Fuck the government. Fuck. <laughs> 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 but that's cool, bro. That's cool. That's lit. That's lit. So, how long? How long you been rapping? Shit, I've been rapping since probably was like 11, 12, around that age. How old are you right now? 22 right now. So that's a 10 year anniversary. That's the 10 year anniversary? Yeah, you can call it 10 years. <laughs> throw some horns up for that. Throw some to- horns up for the 10 year anniversary. Man, it's hard to do something for 10 years. You know what I mean? It's Thanks. hard to do something for 10 years. But did you, what made you, what, out of all the things that you put yourself into to make some money from, what made music made you want to stick to it for 10 years? Uh, let me just say, uh, I kind of always had a musical influence from, uh, I got older parents. My father in his middle sixties, mother in the sixties. So, so your so your people's was bumping like 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 I slave kinda, music. I kinda got a background of the oldies, the seventies, the eighties, nineties, the two thousands. So I got music history. But uh I got a brother that rap. Shout out Stat Boy there. Shout out, shout out. He rap or whatever, he kinda influenced me. I came up now, I didn't know how to fucking write shit, but I always knew how to freestyle, so you know, I had my times with that. 
Okay, okay. So you grew up. It wasn't. It wasn't easy, but it wasn't bad. That's what you're saying. I want to say that. Yeah, I I, I I had my hard times. It was. It was bad. A little on loose ends and a little bit. I made it hard for myself, but. And do, nah, do you still? Do you still? Oh yeah, since they they sparked it, so you can you can spark it now. Since we got you can keep the rotation up. That's it's up to you. It's your wait, shit. Wait. But um. So so what day? What day did you like? What can you do? You remember the day when you was writing some shit? Or you was doing something with music, and you was like, I want to do this. Ah, uh, uh, let me see. I can't even remember. I wrote my first song, but I knew I wanted to start rapping when. I was able to listen to a beat and just rap without writing. Whatever just came to my mind, I could just put it there. I could rap about how I feel, what I want, anything that come to my mind, I could put it into a song. That's why I knew I could rap. Mm -hmm. Was it like was it like a type of high that you got? Was it like like how 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 was it for you? Like what? How was the first time? Uh, for me, rap is more of a, a stress reliever. Uh, I kind of rap to kind of get the things that's on my mind put into a song, but also some of the things that I think about going to a song or how I'm generally feeling, so. Okay. Yeah. So you've been doing it for 10 years. Can you give me a number that you say that you'll be like, all right, at this amount of years, I can see myself being com comfortable retiring my jersey from rapping? I give myself two years till I'm fully on. I'm not talking about till you, I'm talking to Mike, and I'm not talking about when you like put on, I'm talking about like after all the numbers jumped up, after everything you ever wanted. How long, you know, you know LeBron not gonna hoop forever, you know what I mean? How long you gonna, like, it, and then like, then what you gonna do after that? Like, what's your plan? I'm trying to hit a, I'm trying to hit a five year plan. So, um, as currently right now, um, I do a lot of things with rap, so, at the rap, I plan on, you know, maybe starting my own label, do a, kind of a studio thing. I currently trying to build a studio right now. I'm a self-made person, so I plan on being a boss. So I plan on owning many businesses, evolving around music and things like that. Let's let's get some round of applause for Black a Excellence. From the, nigga, you supposed to clap? Oh shit! Round of applause for Black Excellence, man. We like to see it. We love to see it. But okay, I feel you. Usually, I have usually I have a I have a sound effect for the clap, but I don't have it this time. So y'all gonna have to substitute type shit. All right. <laughs> I need a cue like a. We got a dope. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna keep you late then. So okay. So you so you said so you said so. All right. Can you can you can you can you give me a perspective on? Like, so you haven't, so you're an upcoming artist, you haven't even had your debut album yet, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You haven't even had a debut album yet, so do you, can, you, can you give yourself like a, like right now, since you said you're about two years into the rap, into rapping seriously, can you give yourself like a, two like, months. huh? Two months. Two months until the first album? No, until I, until I started rapping seriously. I've been two months until my series. Oh, two months instead of two years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so since you said two months, how long how long you think it's gonna take for you to drop that debut album? Uh, I give myself about say four more months, five months. Four more months. I say album coming. So twenty twenty two, you in there? I'm in there. You gonna have any futures or something? Uh, um, I got a couple features I got going on, but I ain't fond of I ain't fond of features too much. Jeez. But I plan on working with a couple people. Do you like? Are you trying to like reach out and like get like Gucci Man on the song, or you gonna put the dogs on there? Y'all gonna make some classics? I don't want no industry, no industry rappers. You want all your dogs on there? I'm only fighting with my niggas. Only your niggas. Okay. You know what Drake said? No new friends. No, no, no. No? You wasn't, that wasn't funny? <laughs> it's cool. I don't care. It was funny. You can have that. It's like, it's like, no, but, all right. We got the plan. 
We got the plan. We got the plan. We got the album coming in four months. What do you think? What do you think the key is? Like, what do you think the formula is to? What do y'all pass this? Did y'all hit this? What? What? What do you think the formula is to? Um. Well, if you had to say this is the formula to growing the numbers as an upcoming artist, what is your formula to going to zero to a hundred? Cause you, cause one of one of your videos out it already got five hundred views. Yeah. My so plan. it's like, and you only been rapping for two months? Seriously? So you making some type of progress? So I need a formula because I've been rapping for ten years and I ain't. I'm I'm doing podcasts and shit. I'm a, I'm still on my ass. My formula, I just went with the flow, yo. I took whatever bits and pieces I can get from people already in the game, and I kind of took it and shifted it in my own way and made it work for me how I made it work. I'm consistent. That's all it's about is consistency. Consistency. And being focused. I've been promoting every day since I started seriously and investing. That's all it's about. If you, if you follow them at MMB Flashy, you can see the same shit I see because every time I open up my Instagram, Damn, I just spent, I just built the henny on my hand a little bit. Anything God. is possible. See? Anything. But what I was saying was, if you follow him at MMB Flashy, you'll probably get the same thing that I get because every time I open up my, open up my Instagram feed, it's like a brand new single I didn't even know was out. You know what I mean? So how, so to give you, so to start as an upcoming artist, how long? Let's 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 put it in a time frame. You get in a booth. How many hours do it take for you to make how many songs? So in two hours, how many songs are you making? I am, the most songs I made in an hour is four. I'm going to say four or five. Mm -hmm. So I give it eight or nine in two hours. That's the most. Do you think, do you think that as, a, as an upcoming artist, as an aspiring artist, do you think that making, making 20 songs in an hour is good than making one song in one hour? Which one do you think is better? I feel like making that one good quality song could be better than 20. If you go in there and say anything, nobody's going to listen to it, but they're going to listen to that one good quality song. I think you need to tell some. Let me, let me drop some. I'm about to, let me, let me load up my gun. I got some shots to send because y'all. you pay the color? Y'all niggas, y'all just be, y'all be dropping. Nigga, y'all niggas, don't you know niggas how niggas be like, oh, I'll make a song in five minutes. Like it's not a good song, you know what I mean? Like y'all, like just because I can I can make a five. You want a chorus right now? In the trap, suck it, fucking it up. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's a chorus right there. Five minutes. But it's good to see that you like quant quality over quantity. That's a good there thing to go. see. That's all it's about. So it's do about you? So when back. you when you get in the booth and you lock in, is it like you got songs already divvied up? You be freestyling. What's, what's your, what's, matter of fact, before we get into that, what's your pregame? Like, what's your pregame? Like, before you go into the studio, I need a bag of chips. I need my, I need to get my nut off, and I need the blunt. Like, what's your pregame type shit? So, first of all, I like to go in the studio prepared. No engineer wants to work with somebody that's unprepared. That's first of all. I can say that as an engineer. Yeah, nobody, so, that is, this shit is lame. So, I go in the studio already knowing my songs. I rarely fuck up. So I go in there and I put it, I put it, put the tracks down, I do it, I listen to it, and I put it in the work. I go in there prepared so I'm able to make as many as songs as I can make within my hour or whatever time I get. So I go in there and make sure I'm high because that's what keep me focused. That's my leveler right there. I make sure I have some gas. That's my leveler. You feel me? And we're not yeah. talking about the gas you put. We're not talking about 87 premium. premium. We're not talking about none of that shit. Diesel. We talking and, uh, about diesel. But uh, nah. but don't but the feds probably listen to this, so don't tell them, tell them type shit. But no, them every shit I get high, I go in there, I'm chilling, I have good energy. That's all it's about. Uh huh. So it's basically all about the vibe. Do you are you like one of them niggas that have like I need the whole gang in there, or you like one of them niggas that you like it's just you and the engineer? Um, I'm an even all type nigga, but I feel like I perform better man the engineer. Mm -hmm. I'm more focused. Well, that's distracted. I write by myself, so I feel like recording by myself is equal. Cause I ain't gonna lie, recently I went to the studio and I took I took like one of my bitches I was fucking type thing, and it was like it was like I couldn't even focus. Like I was thinking about getting my dicks up the whole time. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying I I agree with you. I would do the same thing. So okay, I know sometimes sometimes as an upcoming artist 
They don't, they don't want to ask you certain questions because you're not J. Cole yet. But I'm going to give you your roses. I'm going to ask you these questions before you even get there. What is your advice to some people that be like, fuck, I want to start rapping, but I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to start doing. Like, what is your first step? Like, what, would you, what is your advice to some of these young niggas? Because there's a lot of young niggas that just, that just shoot niggas and sell 20 bags all day, you know, and they want to start rapping, but they don't know what to do. So what's your advice? My advice to people, my advice to people who start rapping, um, first of all, make sure you know what you're writing. Make sure you know what you're putting on the tracks. Make sure you have something to write about. If you don't got nothing to write about, or even rap about, you don't gotta write all the time. Off the top about, it's no point in you rapping. If it don't come naturally. If you have too much trouble, it just ain't for you. Or if you try to sound like something you're not, it's gonna be hard for you. So if it don't come natural, then it just ain't for you. And growing up, all we've been talking about is all we've been talking about is rapping and music. What was you into otherwise than that growing up? I said, this whole time we've been talking about, um, this whole time we've been talking about music and like how you've been fell in love with music growing up for these 10 years. But like, what else was you into growing up? Like you wasn't just into music the whole time. Is it a plug-in back there? Um, yeah. I'm trying to plug I want to say I played football till I was about 14. That was my first dream. I you always said, had you a, said football? You know, a little football. FYI, I already know this shit. I just, I'm just, I'm just putting niggas on the game about my nigga. But uh, yeah, I played a little football. I was supposed to go somewhere with it. That was my shit. I played Keep it talking, at, uh, nigga. School, you feel me? But uh, things happen. Everything happened for a reason. I ended up getting hurt, injured my foot, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and I ended up taking a different route. Hurting Everything your happened foot. for a reason. What you mean hurting your foot? You gotta elaborate. What happened? Uh, I was at homecoming, and I was playing. We was play fighting and shit. You now we, I was kids, and I got pushed in the street while his car was going by, and it ran over my foot. Kind of fucked up my career, and at the time, I already was injured, still playing football. I had a dislocated thumb, so I had it a hard way with football. So, nigga, you ain't even hurt yourself playing football? Pretty much. That's another thing, yo. Don't let this outside shit get to what you really want to do, because it can affect what you really want to do. I was playing around and doing shit I shouldn't have been doing, and end up fucking up something that I could have been doing today, but remember everything happened for a reason. Everything do happen for a reason. Look, we in here doing this interview. You know what I mean? So, all right, we talked about you. Enough about you. Let's talk about some bitches. It's like I'm playing, I'm playing. I don't want to talk about no bitches. <laughs> but do you have any ideas for that album? Like, do you have any album names? Do you have a cover album or some shit yet? Um. I was, my first album I was going to release was going to be If You Real. You said If You Real? If You Real. It's plain and simple. So yeah. what I mean by that, uh -huh. If You Real, that means what are you going to do? What, is, what does it lead to? What do you do? What does a real person do in situations? What a real nigga do? It's a question. But... In a form you can't be answered, but that shit is a question. You have to answer with actions. Mm -hmm. So, more so what you're going to do in a situation. How are you going to show if you're real? That's what it says. Hey, man, you heard it from the source. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Like, that's, that's some good-ass game. I wish I knew that. You know what I mean? So... What's well, like? What's you never told? Like, what's your? You never told me like how long? You never told me how long you you expect on spitting on the mic. Are you gonna be like Nas, where like you rap forever, or you gonna be like, or you gonna be like you gonna stop rapping one day? Till I get tired of this shit. Till I get tired. tired. Till they pay you enough money, type shit. Nah, Till I get tired. I ain't in this shit Fuck for that. the money. Fuck that. If they pay, if they pay me enough money. Look, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say this. I ain't in this shit for the money. I'm in it because this my craft, this what I do. But 
because I love my craft so much, yes, I want to get paid. I feel like my shit is artwork. So get you paid. want this artwork, you got to buy. Get paid, young nigga, get paid. Get paid, young nigga, get paid. But hey, man. Um, I know we said we wasn't going to do sponsors, but this 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 podcast is brought to you by Hennessy. 65. 1765. What is 1765? 1765. Nigga. All right, now, now you really doing promotion for Hennessy. Chill. 1765. Y'all know the drink. So you what's your... Know what that is, you know now. So I heard your music. I kind of I kind of get what your style is, you know what I mean? So what's what, what would you say is your, is your, like, if you had to name... If you had to have, don't you know Mount Rushmore? Yeah. With like Abraham Lincoln and shit? Mm -hmm. If you had to name, if you had to make your own R Mount Rushmore with rappers that inspired you, who is on that? Who is your four artists? My top four? Uh, it don't have to be no random order. It don't have to be number one to five. It don't have to be number five to one. Just throw them bitches in there. Wayne. The little Wazy. Biggie. Biggie? Old ass. Young boy. Young boy, okay. Last one. Chief Keef. That's a good setup. You got Lil Wayne, Biggie, Young Boy, and Chief Keef. What you what y'all think? You think you fucked up in the head? It's a, it's a listen. This or that. It's a, this or that. No, they gave me four. My top four. That's my top four. I'm, I'm gonna say that's my top four because them four people changed the game. I get Wheezy. I get Biggie. They changed the game. All right. Chief Keith opened up. Chief young boy Keith, just started. Young boy open up. Young boy open up to where so many people rap like him. He changed the whole rap talk. I, no, that, bro, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Talk, I wouldn't say that. that. I wouldn't say that. Man, no. it's, you know how many niggas he out was, here that's even boy, in the industry young boy, that rap like young, young boy. boy. If it wasn't a Kodak, it wouldn't be a young boy. I wouldn't say that. Young boy rap like Louisiana artists, like all the other Louisiana artists. Young boy is just the one that blew up. I wouldn't say that. Young boy, he different. He got a lot of different songs, like. You can't say he, he he's one genre. Yeah, he so mixes many, shit up. You could have said Future. You could have said Young Thug. They ain't changed the game. They came in with that auto tune shit. What? Young boy came in with that with that back in he the day. Was on, young boy was on. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but he do a different auto tune. He bruh, right with that bruh. shit. He switches nobody, that shit nobody up. Nobody was using auto tune. Look. At, uh, when, no when, dick riding, yo. I'm just putting on who changed this game. Chief Keith came in and had everybody drill rapping. Chief Keith, that's a, I can agree with that. But young boy, everybody drill. You know I what? can't agree with that. Everybody is a, everybody drill rapping. Fuck that. Every him. Everybody was drill yo, rapping. Yo, you gotta. But like, I, you my man, so I can't. Weezy just, changed the game. Came in with that with that rock star rap. He came in with the rock star rap. I can agree with that. But you, you need can't to take Biggie out of it. I, I can't agree with that. But you need to take Young Boy off that fucking list. Young Boy, yo, he changed the era, young. <coughs> he changed For the real. era. Don't that nigga got herpes? Yo, young. The only thing that the only thing that Young Boy I've seen that Young Boy impacted. I've seen a whole bunch of young ass kids smoking cigarettes. Man, he changed the way niggas dress, talk, walk, dance, no. and all that shit. These no. niggas so is, is, is fucking young ass. boy clones and shit you out of what? There. I say, so more pants hanging off the ass. That's what I'm saying. Like Whatever it is, that nigga ch got niggas doing it. Just rapping just like him. I guarantee you, half of the niggas y'all listen to, they got a song that sound like young boy shit. Bruh. That's like a game of follow the leader. That's like, that's why I say change the that's game. Like, that's, like, that's, like, that's like a random Detroit artist. <laughs> Coming out of coming, coming up and then like you saying, oh, his shit changed the game. Like it's hella other Detroit artists that sound just like him. That's the same thing with Young it Boy. Is it, but but he started that. From what I got, he started that. Shit. Yo, take him off the list. I don't know this whole shit. But take him off the list. 
He changed the game. Take him off the list, or I'm we gonna Niggas have to see. Niggas was drill rapping me. before Young Boy, and then Young Boy changed all that drill rap. What shit. did he change? He changed the way I just said it. He changed the way niggas walk, talk, dress, act. He got niggas out here going fucking nuts. Bro, I'd rather you say Future or something or Young Thug. Call what you want. My, my, I get credit when he's doing. If I had to have a Mount Marshmore, Mount Marshmore, my top four artists would be. Uh, I would say Jeff and definitely Drake got to be up there. Future. Ah. Uh, and but Wayne is the goat. He put him on. He told him what he know. That's what I'm saying. Like that shit don't even make sense. Yeah, Biggie and Wayne. It, but you gotta think about it. Biggie had like the '90s and shit Biggie like that. Bragging, though, I mean, that's I what I'm saying. Biggie was still going through segregation. But at the time, I'm going. I'm going on for uh, for changing the game at Ares. I started listening. What to did music. he change? I listened to music, rap music from around Biggie. the '90s and shit like that. He Starting. The game. Ain't that sure he Exactly, he impacted the game. Well, he didn't think change. about who was really rapping when he was rapping, bro. What Tupac. Too many niggas rapping. Like it was that? hella people Tupac rapping like that. Came a little bit at the biggie. It was hella people rapping like that. Not sure, but he came a little bit at the biggie. Just because you didn't, just because you don't know him, don't mean. But bro, biggie, biggie, bro, biggie hit that shit hard, bro. He hit that shit hard, bro. You must like fat niggas. Yeah, that shit hard. You said that he hit that shit hard. Like I said, Wayne, I ain't gonna lie. Wayne, yo, come on, yo. I can agree with Wayne. Wayne like, we, says some shit that'll fuck your whole mind. We, we all, we all in this, everybody <laughs> in this room agree with Wayne being on that Rushmore. You could have said Busta Rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> but Busta, come on, yo, Busta. Oh, this right, nigga, right, I give you one of the fastest motherfucking rappers. Like, he one of the motherfucking fastest <laughs> rappers. But, but he, he impacted. He had yeah, niggas yeah, rapping yeah, fast. But he bro, had that's niggas rapping fast. Wayne. But Busta Rhymes had niggas rapping fast. Young boy made Nobody young kids is gonna pick smoke Busta cigarettes. Over Biggie. Huh? You gonna pick Busta over Biggie? Kendrick Lamar? I'd rather put him. J. Than, Cole over Wayne? I'd rather put Kendrick Lamar than Young Boy. You can't put J. Cole and Wayne. I see Kendrick and look. Fuck, fuck, fuck them niggas. Fuck that shit. Man. I ain't even gonna lie. Fuck them niggas. I don't even care, man. Yo, you want some shit, Patch? Alright, shit. <laughs> them niggas ain't putting no money in my pocket. Shit. Bro, my mouth, my rock. Nah, fuck them though. Nah, this respect, nigga, respect. this nigga said his top four respect. artists is Lil Wayne, and then he went right to Biggie. No nah, respect. And then though. he said NBA YoungBoy, and then he said fucking um, Chief Keef. That's what I'm saying, like. But that's what I'm saying. I'm going off for the average, yo. Biggie had the nineties. Wayne had the two thousand. Biggie did not have the nineties. Biggie did not have the nineties. Biggie Chief did not had have like the, 90s. the middle 2000s and then a young boy had caught it around like 15, 14. Young boy you know, hasn't even been out for five years. Man, young boy has, bro. Bro. Young boy started rapping like. I send a shot to young boy. That's what I'm saying. Jay Z really but changed Jay-Z, it. Ew. If it wasn't pick Nas over Jay Z, I pick Nas over Jay Z. Well, listen, listen. If it wasn't, but I pick Biggie over them. Bro, if it wasn't, if I pick Biggie over them, don't get me wrong. Nas one of my is my like one of my favorite rappers. Listen, 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 listen. Don't get me wrong. Listen, listen. You should have picked Jay Z because if it wasn't, if it wasn't for Jay Z, it wouldn't be a J Cole. If it wasn't for Jay Z, it wouldn't be a Kendrick Lamar like type shit. Like that's the type of shit that make you. If a you want to say pave the way type shit, but if you want to talk about a rap scale, them oh, niggas don't rap that. like them, yo. Them niggas came. Are you in talking on about young boy way. rap like that? Yo, young boy came in on his own shit before young boy. How was niggas rapping? Are you talking about mm, little top? Oh no. <laughs> no. How was niggas rapping before young boy came? Bro, niggas was rapping like Future and. Yo, f- yo, young boy sounds like every other Louisiana. If you picked up any up up kind of Louisiana artist before young boy, it sounds like young boy. No. All right, since you want to talk about open up doors, young boy opened up the door for Quando and all hey, those hey, rappers. Hey, you right? You all right? All them niggas coming up now. You right? But I can agree. But, but Yachty, listen, listen. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. That you listen to too. Let me finish. Let me finish. I don't even listen well, to y'all. I give it. I give you that. Let me all finish. That. Let me finish. Let me finish. But. Yes, yes, young boy has opened the door for like Quando Rondo and shit like that. But like, have we ever seen those? Have we? Neither of us has. Have they? They, they haven't been out for five years, so we can't even say they impacted right. anything. So what you ever do? You ever give you Soldier Boy? I'd rather you say that. <laughs> I'd rather you say Soldier Boy than you Young Boy. Yeah. I'd rather you say. I'd rather you say Soldier Boy. You know what I mean? I'd rather you say Soldier Boy than Young Boy. Draco. All right. 
I'm gonna give you Drake. Y'all. Because because young boy young boy never created fire nine times. Soldier boy made a hit nine like Soldier boy became famous nine different times. Like that's different comparisons. Like that's why that nigga. Boy also kicked off that YouTube shit. Exactly, he started YouTube for rappers. Alright, so what you want me to throw Soldier Boy in there? I'd rather you take Young Boy out and put in Soldier Boy. This nigga. I can agree with everybody else, All Chief right. Keith. Alright, fuck. I don't care. Look, like, I just told you I don't Why give a fuck about none of these niggas. Not, not young Boy? That's like me saying, that's like me saying Lil Punk. Shout out to them, but fuck them. Right now. Like, I don't care about them. This kind of shit. You said you could Ice Ice Cube right like six songs, the nigga stopped right and started acting. No Vaseline is better than album, like, with 20 songs, Yo, I'd rather you say Ice Cube, bro. Wu Tang. Wu Tang. I'm, I'm a 2000, I'm a 2000 baby. Oh, you're not. <laughs> he made more songs by himself. No, Fuck for Ice real. Cube. Right if, it wasn't, if it wasn't for Ice Cube, Ice Cube if it wasn't for Ice Cube, Cube it probably would yeah, never be an NWA. Like, oh, it probably wouldn't be an Easy E. It would never be an Easy E without Ice Cube. Yo, you need to stop taking them. No, perks. ain't no problem. That's a fact. It wouldn't be no easy without Ice Cube. They made, oh, they made easy. Without Ice Cube, right? Right. I mean, I can't say that because Dre Mitt was a part of it. But listen, Granted. compared to Young Boy, all the artists that we talked about, fuck them niggas. This nigga really saying Young Boy. This your man. <laughs> ain't talk about them niggas. Fuck all that. Got hat that coming out tomorrow. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah, it, it yeah. Be flashy. Yo. And on that and note, on that note, now. on that note, <laughs> on that note, we signing out, man. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of the Blase Podcast. Uh, sh- go fuck with my man Zim and be flashy. Y'all, his old ass gonna say his Instagram, but he don't know that it's 2021, so I can just put his shit at the bottom of the screen. Old ass nigga. But, um, you know, I'm gonna be back. Um, and that's it. You got anything else to say? Any inspiring words to sign up with? Uh, no, nah, shit. You gotta dream out. You gotta dream out that shit. Do it. That's all I got to say. You gotta dream and do it. That's that a good. Shit. That's a good. That's a good ending. Hey, if I if I had to say something, let me let me think about an ending. Let me think about an ending. Let me load my gun up, cause I'm I'm not gonna end off my shit with no positive. Have a good day, shit. I'm gonna end my shit up off with some smoke. Fuck Elon Musk because I've been losing money. I brought some Dogecoin. That nigga told me buy some more because he was gonna make some shit go up on Friday. He ain't make shit go up. I lost thirteen dollars, bitch. I'm down bad. I'm over here fucking girls for thirteen dollars because of Elon Musk. But that's it, man. That's 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 the that's the op of the day. That's the op of the day. Yeah. That's the series. I'm gonna do op of the day every episode, but. I'm out this bitch. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Next time, uh, bring some bitches because I need some more. You know what I mean? <coughs> <coughs> I should have made you wear your mask. No dumb shit. <laughs> it's like, no. Gas. We out this bitch.